Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another live stream detail here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. I hope we find you well today. Well, without further ado, I am going to move the cameras out to the studio so you can see what we're actually doing today. We are going to be working on a Subaru BRZ that is, eh, to be kind, a little worse for wear on the outside, but it's actually a very low mileage example. It's, uh, it's something that could use a little bit of love. I think you know what I'm talking about, but uh, we got the guys out there. They're going to help us out. We're going to clean this thing up, and hopefully by the end, it'll be shining like a diamond. But uh, as far as products we're going to be using today, we are moving in with Kosh. That's right. Today is going to be a very koshemi centric episode. We're going to be uh, covering everything from the wash to the final steps, giving special attention to the plastics and such. And uh, here I am wondering uh, why we have not moved out to the studio yet. I'm hoping it happens soon. But uh, I know Anthony and Levi are excited to get in there as soon as they can. Uh, anyway, there they are. There we All go. All right. Boom. Awesome. Thank you, Dane. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate no it. See. Well, Dane, you were still giving out <laughs> useful information. They weren't going to switch the cameras over well, until you. Well, I you wanted were ready. to. I wanted to not spend so much time on my face when it's ah. about a car. So I wanted to get us out there, and then I could talk to you about it. And to me, that's okay. a more engaging right. experience. Well, you looked good. The lighting the looks great. Who actually Skin watching. looks great. It's glowing Thank like you. an angel. Glowing like an angel. Yeah. No, I it gave us some time that. to do some exercises as well to get stretched oh. out before all this hard work we're going to put in here on this thirty thousand mile. Mm. Subaru BRZ. It's a series blue. Mm. Uh, this is kind of a rarity amongst the uh, BRZ modern 86 crowd, whatever you want to call it. So I got a question. Would your friend yeah. want to trade for a 2006 <coughs> Hyundai Elantra with 162,000 miles on it? You drive a pretty hard bargain there, Levi. I mean, I don't straight know. Straight across. I don't know how he could say no. Straight across. On a straight across train got a such as check that. Check engine light and a couple dents. Yeah. But it, easy fix. Easy fix, right? Mm -hmm. So this right here is my friend Andy's. He's had this since new. I actually went with him to purchase this car because, oh. fun fact, he did not know how to drive a manual car. I remember oh, this boy. story. Great story. So I had to drive this car home. off of the showroom mm. floor, literally, <laughs> and then drive him home in it and then teach him how to drive stick shift in it uh, wow. in the uh, subsequent hours. And you know wow. what? He picked it up super fast. Once well, that's he, good. Once well, because he, he did buy a car. <clears throat> yeah. New off the lot. Well, that was it, a stick. it freaked him out once he killed it a couple times, right? Learning, he was like, oh, I don't want to hurt the car anymore. I'm going to learn and get this okay. down. And so, right. um, literally within two hours, he was driving stick and driving it beautifully. And so, um, he's had this since I want to say 2015 is when this car came out. And 30,000 miles, that's it. This thing is basically brand new. But yeah. here's the deal this thing hasn't been washed, I think, in almost four years. Wait, what? Yes. I, yes. <laughs> so here's what ended up happening. I don't understand people. I taught him how to wash cars, and I told him, hey, the car wash is the devil. Do not go through the car wash because that oh, is in it, this. And this, keep in mind, this is back in the day. I told him it's going to scratch his car, right? And he was like, got it. So only hand wash it, right? He goes, would it be better if it's dirty if I can't wash it, hand wash it? I said, probably, right? He took that very literally. He did take it very literally. <laughs> and Almost... You know, you could have said, hey, look, you could wash the car yes, yes. maybe twice a year at least. Or, or maybe just red touchless. Or touchless. I don't even think he knew that was an Go option. Out of Jay's hand wash yeah. down the street. He didn't know that was an option. So he basically thought that if he didn't have time to wash it and couldn't wash it himself, it's just best to so be left not, dirty. He's not wrong. And so he works from home, mm -hmm. right? And he's worked, through, worked at home through all of COVID and whatnot. So the car never got driven. And because it never got driven, it never got washed. So when he did drive it, it was <coughs> dirty, but not dirty enough to, you know, justify going out there and doing a full detail. So okay. uh, this it. thing is covered in essentially four years worth of dirt. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping most of this is going to come out, but I can tell you one thing. It doesn't feel great. It feels very contaminated. So because of this, we're going to be going through a multi-step process All using right. the Coach Kimmy system. So Levi, uh, super foam over here. What's super foam going to do? Well, that is a very high pH shampoo, and that is going to come in, and it is going to be our decon soap. Yep. We were doing an alkaline heavy decon to this. Uh, it's going to help break a lot of that grime and dirt and everything that's kind of bonded to the surface. And we're going to be able to rinse that free yeah. after that. Yep. And then we're going to be going in with a little GSF yep. as our we'll, soap. As our soap to wash. To wash. And but then, 
after you've got we, another step you want to do here. Correct. So after we wash it with GSF, we're actually going to refoam it again. Okay. And the reason why we're going to refoam it again is because we're going to be coming through with our ultra clay scrubbers here, and we're going to be claying nice. it with mm. soap on the surface. Mm. Because yeah. uh, let's face it, this thing is it's pretty hammered, and yeah. I felt like a, a, a soap and ultra clay scrubber method yeah. is going to work better for the situation. So I do have a question. Yeah. So you have alkaline wheel cleaner here <clears throat> and reactive rust remover. Yeah. Why? Correct. Why do we have two wheel cleaners? Well, technically, reactive rust remover is going to be Coach Kimmy's dedicated fault remover, right? So we're going to be going through. We're going to be spraying this like onto that. the surface, right? Watching a lot of that fallout just melt away because mm -hmm. this thing hasn't been touched in many, many yeah, years. So this so will be a chemical and a mechanical it's decontamination. Also, it's also going to put on a show, Levi. Like and it. so, uh, and then we have the new al 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 alkali wheel cleaner for the wheels and tires. Yeah. Uh, this is actually his winter set. Okay. So they don't need to be perfect, but we want to make sure to clean up the faces and clean up the I tires like uh, and get those looking good. And then here's something interesting. We've never done this before. Oh, not on camera at least, and we've never done this on a live. We're actually going to be using Coach Kimmy's S001 Ooh. as our last step protectant. I like it. We're going to go, it's kind of old school. It is kind I of old school. I used it the other day for an Amazon video, yeah. and I was explaining to Jimmy, this is a heavy carrier solvent. It is. Very heavy. But it's very got heavy. amazing waxes and sealants in it, so when we put this on, those carrier solvents come on really wet. Mm-hmm but they, dry they will dry out yep. and then we remove it like a wax Essentially, finish. yeah. It's, and you can apply this via a buffing pad. We're gonna apply it with one of our no-soak applicators here. Yep. Um, but it's really, really easy to apply because it applies on wet, right? Kind of yep. simple, basically like a really heavy, heavy coating, right? And then yeah. everything is going to dry up and we're gonna simply go back over it and remove easy it. Easy wipe off. Um, super easy wipe off. Nice. But the reason I'm doing this is because this adds a ton of gloss. Yeah. This is a massive gloss enhancer and uh, this particular cart here is wanting to sell soon. Well, and, and people haven't seen this yet. And people in, haven't in, seen in, this. In, yeah. in, in use. No. So, so it'll be, be really easy product. for us to go through. So we're going to be wiping off with the new Ultra Rip and Rag XLs. Available now at the yeah, Dude, you, got, you don't know what you're missing. I walked out to my garage yeah. last night. Yeah. All you took is glasses off because mm -hmm. Carly saw <clears> them and she goes, the heck's wrong with your glasses? You need to clean those. Yeah, absolutely. And she goes, can you clean these for me? And so I grabbed them, walked out to the garage, ripped fresh ripping rag. You ripped mm. a rag, yeah. A little bit of glass cleaner <laughs> on, the, on the lenses. Pulled that ripping rag out, cleaned the glasses. Oh, okay. You're speaking my language. Perfect, handed them back to the boy. It was like you could see again. Oh Amazing. my God, it, it, well, it's not only is the old rag. It helps the blind to see. <laughs> It's Helps restoring vision. I don't know if we can put that on the box, but you know, uh, we can definitely uh, try to claim it here on the yeah. live. So, uh, with uh, I guess without further ado, we have plenty to get done here. So we are going to start uh, with I believe. Do you want to start with RRR <coughs> first, or do you want to start with the wheels first? Um, well, I think we probably should start with the wheels. I feel first. like dude, we should probably get the car wet first. You want to get it wet? Okay. And then do you want to do RRR one first? of us can do RRR and the other one can do the wheels. I think we should spray everything down with RRR, okay. let it set. Do we have right? enough RRR? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then let that set and then we can go ahead and rinse it and then we can do the wheels at the same time. Okay. So, so that's like I'll a get it wet and you start spraying RRR. Well, we get, spray RRR first and then get it wet. You want to do it dry? Dry. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be pretty. I want to put on a good show. All right. So anyways, we're going to get this uh, get this going. Dane, if there's any questions that come through, please kick them out to us. And we're oh, going to do our best to answer them. Uh, this is the first live that we've had on the main channel in quite some time. So we appreciate all of you for being here. And hopefully you'll find this entertaining and or educational because we have TRCMA coming up here in less than a month, which is the RAG Company Media shirt. Access, yeah. which is a premier live event, live event that we host here at the RAG Company YouTube channel, uh, which is going to basically give you all of the detailing knowledge you'll ever want to know um, in one week. Yeah, and you get to see all a bunch of new products from all the different manufacturers. True. We've already been getting some of them. We can't even tell you or show them because they're That's so right. new. True. It's pretty awesome. True. So you don't want to miss out. All right, Anthony. You're going to get spraying. I just realized how small this car is. It's actually it's not quite very nice. Big. So we're going to go through RRR. We're going on dry here, and we're mainly just focusing on the lowers here. Um, and start letting the chemical do the work, knocking out the fenders as well. And, oh yeah, I can already start to see some magic happening. This thing, again, hasn't been touched in quite some time. Oh, this thing is filthy. 
What's funny is I actually helped with some of the mods on this car. And oh, it's been you did. It's been so many years, I've forgotten about him. <clears throat> but uh, he is looking to sell this thing. Has well, like 30,000 miles, I clean title. Elantra. I feel like this could be a QVC episode where we get this thing <coughs> sold for him on this live stream. What do you think? Should we get a listing up on the ragcompany.com? Yeah, uh, yeah, Dane, start building that. <laughs> all right, guys, in the comments, do all my work for me. We'll start the bidding at $12,000. 12000 yeah. <laughs> all right, so a couple more sprays here. Are you going to spray the wheels or no? Do you want me to spray the wheels? I would like you to start with the wheels with alkaline wheel cleaner, please. Okay. And the alkaline wheel cleaner in there, Levi. What did you dilute this to? Is this car that's yelling this at me? This car's beeping. Oh, okay, then I'll make sure to fix that. Um, I diluted that right there. It is roughly five to one. Okay. Now, Anthony, Levi, I do have one question here. Yes. I'll pop it up here while the car screams at you. Um, I'm gonna Rich fix Smith, that. <laughs> you what are you here? going to use to remove any tar spots? Ooh. So tar, we, have, we, we don't even know what's on the car. Granted how dirty it is right now, I can't tell what's tar, what sap, what other filth there is. It is really hard for me yeah. to get a good idea Jimmy, get on that. how hammered this thing actually is. Well, maybe to help illustrate, Anthony, do you know the condition you know, that this was parked in, like what the setup was? For the Where most part, this most part, this thing was garaged. I know that. I think that it was because mostly garaged. it doesn't garaged. look like it. <laughs> No, this is like, this is truly somebody that has garaged their car, but driven it out in all sorts of different weather okay. and then just parked it straight up. So okay. they didn't wash it. They didn't wipe it down. They just drove it and parked it. Got it. Because but again, it stay in a garage. That again, I told him, I told him it's going to be better for him not to do anything rather than do something and do a bad job. So uh, we can come over here and you can actually tell. All this fall is just, it's just melting off here, off the rear of the car. Um, oh, yeah. Grimy and gross. This looks pretty, uh, pretty dark. Now, so what's interesting is that RRR has much more of a darker look to it than some of the other fault removers that have more of like a pinkish purple look. This has more of a darker, kind of a dingy purple look. That's probably the best way to describe it. <laughs> dingy purple. It's like a dingy purple. Uh, let's see. I've got Anthony missed an opportunity for his new quick jacks to make an appearance. Oh, I know, right? But here's the deal, though. I, I could have absolutely pulled the quick jacks out for this, but then they would have gotten filthy. Well, if I'm gonna I wash, mean, if I'm gonna wash a car on quick jacks, it's gonna be my car, <laughs> a car that I know will be that's not that, dirty. That's not dirty, and will continue to look good. So you're just gonna wash your quick jacks too. Yeah. Uh, now I've got, ooh, Franco with an offer on the car here. Let's see. I'll trade a lowered immaculate 07 Ford Ranger and ooh. add two grand on top for the oh, car. Oh, man. Andy's ooh, getting some good Ford, offers. Dude, a Ford right. Ranger. Ford Ranger, 06 an Elantra. 07, yeah. Ford ooh. Ranger's hard to beat. Good, good offer. I mean, this it won't thing. die. It'll run poorly a lot longer <coughs> than other cars run at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, this thing is absolutely, this thing is bleeding, dude. This thing... I can't believe how much a lot filth. Of stuff on there. Look at the well, look at the look at the deck lid here. Look yeah. at that. That is just that's sick. So um, you got all the wheels pre-sprayed. Wheels and yep. tires pre-sprayed. Sprayed. Very good. So I think at this point we're gonna probably gonna start. Uh, well, let it sit a little longer. Rinsing Dane, this. You got a couple others. Uh, yeah, no, I just got a comment here from our uh, local Cameron Messina saying, "Love the wash and talk with Anthony and Matt. Great very job, nice, guys. Very nice. Thank you." Everything else has been people saying hi and just checking in. I think they're just hanging okay. out. We're glad that everybody's here. And uh, again, this is the first time we've done a live here on the channel um, and uh, in quite some time. But we have a lot of fun doing these and TR SEMA coming up. That's going to be, I mean, if you're going to tune in for any live event that we ever do, that's the one, that's the one to tune in for, for because we're going to have the biggest brands in detailing here under one roof uh, for, for basically five days, four days, right? of back-to-back -back content of, I mean, everything from new product drops to different tools, techniques, lots of different coverages. I mean, you're gonna learn everything that you wanna know about the new Rupes tools. You're gonna learn everything that you're gonna wanna know uh, about new uh, Coach products as well as new PNS products that I know are dropping. There's gonna be a lot of special stuff that happens that week that you don't wanna miss. So uh, make sure whether 
you know, you're at home or in the office, you have at least one screen pulled up to yeah. get some coverage going. Levi, what's that the plan? That fender's looking good, Jimmy. If you get that lower <coughs> driver's fender, or passenger fender, <coughs> that is a uh, purple. This whole back is purple. There's Rick yeah. Smith spots. seems to think that the black spots on the back end of the car are tar spots. Well, we here's, have no, I have no so idea. So here's one of the other great we things. We have no idea. One of the cool things about SO01. Well, no, it's, so it's a solvent. It's so a solvent not that only actually removes tar. It also removes previous compounds mm -hmm. and sealants, yeah. right? Yeah. So technically Strips you can go right over the top of maybe some compound or sealant that you haven't wiped off completely. Yeah. And you don't have to use a prep spray. Yeah, pretty crazy. Oh, Jimmy, you got to see this. Jimmy? Jimmy, you got to come over here on this fender here. This is, this is going to be satisfying. Look at it. Oh my God, it's it's a different shade of white. Yeah. It's kind of showing up on camera, but I know in person that looks really. Oh yeah, no, this is this is uh, pretty crazy to see in person. Holy smokes, man. Yeah, that thing was grimy before. What do you think, Levi? Will you take it? Will you buy it now that it's kind of clean? Huh? Will you buy it now that it's kind of clean? Oh yeah, a little or, bit clean. I still only, I'm still offering it. You will, you'll, you'll do it though, six hundred. But maybe would you do like twenty <coughs> bucks cash on maybe top? Maybe twenty bucks cash. Okay. In the maybe buy him some McDonald's or something. I might pull. I'll fill the tank. Of the fill, oh, too. nice. That's yeah. quite the offer. Jeez, those wheels and tires. This is his winter set because the. Uh, Series Blue actually came with a set of STI wheels, funny yeah. enough. Or at least a set of, I believe they're either BBS or some type of nicer wheel that have STI center caps. They're actually a pretty good looking wheel. Wow, that's a lot of filth. Dane, what else do we got? All right, so I've got a what's up fellas from Sam here. Oh, thank and you, Sam. And then a, uh, <laughs> I had to laugh. Uh, Brian here, what are your top three Adams chemicals? That's a good, that's a great question. Great question. Detail spray, tire cleaner, and I don't know, auto shampoo, whatever the heck it's called. You're in the ballpark. And then Reflection Auto Spa, love the videos, and the Evo watch and talk was awesome. Thank you, thank you, we appreciate that. Hope you had a fun time. I'm obviously rocking an OG and LZ MFG shirt today. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think it's pretty sweet. Nice. So supporting our friends here in the industry. Yeah, it looks good. And Dude. then of course, Anthony, you're gonna love this next comment. Rick Smith says, those hex lights reflect in the glass of the vehicle and really does not help for filming purposes. Never noticed until Uncle Matty started pointing it out. Uh, he's you know, he's he, really he, been on a vendetta lately. He made a lot of good points about the hex lights. He really did. And I wasn't sitting there trying to necessarily defend the hex lights and saying that they're the best thing ever. Um, I think they're better than no light at all. But to the point of saying, are they ideal for filming and or for showing off a product? No, not really. Because you do get lost. You get lost in the hex, man. You do. <laughs> it's a real thing that happens. And Levi, how we how we looking? I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that key out of there. What do you think? Yeah, probably a good idea. Here we go. I got it. I got the key. Now maybe the alarm will go off. There we go. That'd be cool. Um, I got Sam here also saying, is this a new version of a Watch Wednesday? No, not necessarily. This is what this is. It, this is actually serves multiple purposes. Yeah. A, it gets you guys prepared for TRCMA coming up. It gives us more practice on a live stream, and it lets our audience know that we are doing this, and this is something that we enjoy doing. Uh, so hopefully, when TRCMA does come around, you're going to want to jump on there and learn everything there is uh, to know about uh, the detailing industry in 2024. So, um, yeah, that's what this is for. So it's a kind of a routine <laughs> practice. Yeah. 
No, it's uh, it's warm up before the big game. But as far as this goes, I would also say today's particular live stream was intended to be a surprise. So if people are like, I didn't get the notification or, oh, I missed the whatever. Or, you didn't say anything. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say anything. We're just seeing how good YouTube is at uh, actually putting out the content when it pops up live stream at the last minute and yep. just shows up. So if you didn't get a notification and you're watching this way later, that's why. Sorry, but it was part of a bit of a test. Yep. Okay, so Levi, uh, I'm going to swap places with you because I'm going to be foaming with some super foam. Okay. Because we also got to let that do a little bit of work as well because you're kind of, you're, you're, you're doing an amazing job with the pressure washer, but you're almost doing too good of a job, if you know what I mean. It stops it from being interesting. Dude, this car. Anything else. So ultimately, <laughs> what we're trying to do here is we're trying to sell Jimmy, who's actually holding this camera right here. We're trying to sell him this car. He owns four white cars, and I said, "Hey, yep. what's one more? What's yep. you need? You, is it three white cars, Jimmy? Four, a fifth one to really seal the deal. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, he's shaking his head. He wants it though. I know he does. All right, so we got super foam in here. I have roughly 100 milliliters of super foam um, inside this PF22. Uh, and people have been asking, are we going to stock the wide mouth PF22, uh, or I guess the new foam cannon, and have we had a chance to use it? And the answer is no, we have not had a chance to use it. And because we haven't had a chance to use it, I don't know if we'll be stocking it anytime soon. But um, we know that the Magnum kit that we currently have in stock as just is a killer kit. It's awesome for anybody that's wanting to pick up kind of an all-in-one handle and foam cannon option. Uh, this one is tried and true. It's been, you know, used for years and years, but I do want to try the wide mouth out to see how it is. So <coughs> anyways, super foam, 100 milliliters inside here. Let's give this the old Jamie the Cleaner Whirl and, Ooh. oh crap, hold on. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's Jamie's this watching the old, right Jamie now. Jamie the Cleaner Whirl. <laughs> Bam, yeah. there we go. <laughs> And for those that don't know, Jamie the Cleaner is our 2023 Grand Bastard Showdown winner, and he is going to be at TRCMA 2024. So if you love him and you love his content, he's definitely going to be featured quite a bit here on the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, this stuff smells incredible. <laughs> the smell is intoxicatingly good. I just wish, I wish it was a lower pH so we could use <laughs> it more often, mm -hmm. you know? Because people always ask, they go, oh man, I love super foam. It's got a pH of 12. Can I use it every wash? And I say, please don't. Yeah, you're probably gonna, not a good you're idea. You're going to dry out your clear coat. You're going to dry out your trim. You're going to dry out your clear. Use it, you know, once a year, a couple times a year. But um, the smell is... Oh, good. so good. So, so good. Yeah, it's looking good from here. For sure. You can see the dirt coming out of spots, too. I also love the size of this car. These are my favorite cars to wash. Yeah, it's perfect. If you were to say, Anthony, you have to wash one car for the rest of your <coughs> life, told you Sunday it might be, nice be this. Have one of these because mm -hmm. well, look how it's easy. Perfect size. perfect size. This is easy, and it's not a Miata because a Miata's got seals and it's got a it's yeah. Got a Miatas are weird. Convertible. This is a much better car. <laughs> those leak all the time. Yeah, Even the leak. new RF models aren't those are those leakers, Dane? Uh, we'll find not out. to my knowledge, but we're going to find out the hard way. So <laughs> we can't wait to take it through some car washes testing. There hasn't been one convertible that Dane hasn't owned that I haven't tried to break a seal on. <laughs> it's Whether true. it was the BMW or the you Taurus really did the yeah. yeah. I mean, when I bought my first Miata, it did have a uh, helmet-sized hole in the roof. So yeah, when that I had to be remember when I detailed that one today, and I had to put towels in the jam <laughs> of the windows. Yeah. Made life so I didn't get the interior difficult. wet <laughs> when you first bought it before you replaced the top. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, Rick Smith with some harsh criticism for Anthony. 
Oh, no. The Jamie the Cleaner impersonation didn't go well. Maybe Anthony should try his Uncle Matty impression out on Levi. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that went quite well either. So, <laughs> again, like Matt said, I, I wasn't complaining about something existential enough. I was complaining about my minor things. And so. That's right. <laughs> Existential enough. <laughs> That's what he said. He says I'm. Com Matt's like I'm com usually complaining about something existential, and I go like like the fitment of something, yeah. or like no. <laughs> well, you remember at, at SEMA, I tell this story. We were all joking and talking about this stuff, and then we made fun of him for his coffee solution package. And <laughs> for a guy who doesn't drink coffee, he says you don't even drink coffee, and he's like, yeah, well, if I did, I want the best. And I go, but, <laughs> but how do you know, know what, what the best, best is? is? Like, you don't yeah. know how good the coffee can he, well, be. Well, that's what he says. He relies on the rest of the team right. to help him out. But I said, but what if I was on your team? I love just my Hamilton Beach K cup <laughs> machine. Yeah, that's thirty dollars, right? that I got at Walmart and yeah. I can just get my K-Cup pods and I can just throw them in and I don't have to worry. And that's yeah. it. No, I get a little Levi, zero sugar garbage. creamer. That's, that's trash. Good to go. I'm, I'm happy. It. I'm, I'm comfortable. <laughs> it makes me feel good. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, but just be better. <laughs> just, just be, be just better than K-Cup. That's all be I was better. like, well, I like that. It's easy. It's fast. Yeah. Um, right. Actually, I need, do need to fill up this wheel bucket <laughs> just a little bit because um, we are, we're gonna, we're gonna start, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do from here is we're gonna rinse off the super foam, then we're gonna knock out the wheels, and then we're gonna go in with GSF, and then start our wash and then clay. Um, the reason why we're doing this is honestly, if we can do less abrasive, uh, or I guess less physical touch to the car, yeah. and more chemical work on something that hasn't been washing this long, it's gonna be the best thing because I know that this car um, isn't scratched up. It's not marred up. Yeah, technically no. Because he mean, hasn't. It's got some marks. It's got some uh, marks on it, but he, but he hasn't like he hasn't washed it improperly. Right. It hasn't seen ever. It hasn't seen a hundred washes in the last five. No. Years. So like, which which is why I'm laughing because I go. Well, eight it's years. How old filthy. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. It's nine years crap. old. Yeah. This thing's absolutely filthy, but it's never been taken through a tunnel wash. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a little diamond in the rough, it's, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. Like this is like the perfect car for somebody to buy, especially a detailer. Yeah, this I, is a good I wish I had. I wish I had more room. I wish I had more money. Yeah, I could buy this. But no, not that I don't have enough money. It's just I got to buy another car instead. Yeah. That's all. Okay, go to rinse this from the top here. And you can see that this has no hydrophobic behavior at all. This thing is about as flat as it possibly be. So again, like I said, if Andy wants to sell this thing, I'm willing to trade. Is he? Are you? No, six Elantra. Elantra, straight across. Straight across. Hey, the best part, if he does that, he'll get a great little car that he could put up on Marketplace and sell for like 1500 bucks. Make a little yeah. cash, put it in his pocket. Maybe he wants to use that as a down payment, yeah. you know, on the next vehicle. I mean, oh, that's, that's pretty nice. good, right? Now this is not a car offer for trade, but Cameron Messina says, I got a 2020 Ram 1500. That's been loved a little too much if you guys want to use it for a swirl mark video. Yeah, that's okay. Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, Cameron, that's uh, a perfect yeah. truck for you to start working on your buffing skills on, mm -hmm. figuring out what that Dodge paint really is like because it's kind of funky. Uh, it's sometimes very soft, sometimes a little more harder. It just depends on what day of the week it was. Jimmy, did you even so these were buddy club tails? Yeah. You didn't notice that? Well, I don't even know which one the shot is right now. Sorry. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. I've I'll got Josh here with a real question for you. Josh here wants to know, does Koshemi have a good product for removing road paint and road cars? <laughs> so, removing road paint and road cars. Uh, yes, they have uh, a number of products for removing road paint and road tar. They have uh, KCX uh, Dulex, they have T, and they have Orange Power. All three of those work really well at removing road tar from the, from the paint. And now, certain road paints, no. Road paint is a totally different animal. It's designed to bond with the asphalt, and so what you actually need is Vaseline. It's an old school trick. You take a little Vaseline and you apply it to the road paint and you let it sit uh, for a few hours. 
What that does is it softens the road paint on the surface of those areas and then helps remove it. You come back with a plastic scraper, which Casey excels, that you can then scrape off uh, and break off um, that product and then come at it with something else. Nice. And then uh, let's see, I've got Air first here saying I still have a 20, 20, 22 year old Bug Eye Scooby. It's crazy that car's 22 years old. <laughs> my AMG is my daily, but secretly my Scooby is still my baby. Nice. Then I have a very helpful one for Anthony. I think here's some encouraging words. Okay. Good old Matty himself popping in saying, nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. This is a nice shirt. It actually fits quite nice. Are you going to give a little scrub? I'm going to give us a little scrub. <laughs> okay. Taking my new. I'm going to put a little GSF in here. Ooh, I like that. That, that looks nice. I'm going to grab my new ultra wheel and body brush here. I'm going to start getting in here on the wheels. It's actually like literally the perfect wheel for this brush. Meant for this wheel. <coughs> so if you look here, right, I have Ooh. enough leverage, right, from this brush, enough size to get almost between mm -hmm. this, this very tight spoke here, but because of that edge there, I'm able to get in between all those nooks and crannies and be able to get wow, deep in there. it's almost like that wheel, that wheel and tire combo or that uh, brush combo was designed perfectly. It really was. It was really well thought out. Mm -hmm. I can get the faces, right? And after I get the face, come back through each one of these right here. Bam, bam, get bam. Get those little nooks and crannies that we all it's hate. And all the nooks <laughs> and crannies that we hate to get. We hate this Everybody is Anthony's favorite job. Give him this job always. All oh, the no, time. I, I hate this job. And that's, well, that's why, why, designed a that's why I designed this brush jobs. to make this job a little bit less crappy is what I did. That's right. Sorry, Jimmy. So, and then, uh, so it's, I've, got, I've got a comment here that's going to require everybody to clap because it's super chat. Cameron Ooh. Messina, $5. And he right. says... I can get them out. I just don't want to have the time to do or I just don't take the time to do it. That time I could be spending making money on someone else's car. All right, now we're all clapping. There we Here go. We go. All, yeah. right. all right. Anthony would clap, but his hands are full. <laughs> and then Neil White popping in, surprised. Oh, wow, TRC wash. <laughs> Good old-fashioned TRC wash. Nothing quite like it, right? No, for well, real. And again, like we said, we did, this was a test. This is just to see how the uh, live notification is with YouTube. So we didn't tell anybody. So thank you, everybody that, that tuned in when they saw the notification. Yeah. No, we're really happy to see that the notifications appear to kind of be working. So as yeah. you guys start pouring in, just know this has been going for eh, probably about 20 minutes, half an hour right now. But you can always go back and watch the rest later. Just uh, stick with us for now. That's right. And I've got British rock loving Yank. I'm the only human who loves doing wheels. You you might be, uh, Brit Rock. You might be. Might yeah. Be the only human. Because I don't think most people enjoy, well, even if they have like a nice creeper or a chair they can go down, sit on, makes it a little better. But just bending over or like crouching down constantly to do wheels, that wears on you after a while. Yeah, it does. Not particularly a fun time. All right. Now, given that the new Rippin' Rags are going to get rid of the purple pearl, are all pearl weave towels going away? No. Uh, in hopes to transition to the rip and rag design, says Sam Taylor. You never know, but as of right now, no, we're we keeping have an most of them. That yeah. is uh, currently the pearl weaves, yeah. and then the new rip and rag XL is the 7030 version. If you'll recall, the purple pearl was the premium version of the pearl, but we did have other pearls available. Yeah. So, if you're looking for that premium pearl, it's now rip and rag form. But our other pearls, you could still get in the, uh, the, the other standard arrangements, yeah. the other blends, the standard. Now, never say that. never, we might, you never know. But right we now, see. that's not the case. Yeah. <clears throat> then following up, Sam Taylor says, if that's the case, is it a possibility that more towels will transition to rip and rag design? Um, some towels will transition, but it really depends on the weave of the towel, because mm -hmm. not every towel lends itself to that capability. Every okay. weave, I guess. So, like, an eagle rip and rag would probably not be good. Yeah. 
not really one I, I would necessarily want either. Right. Plus, you wouldn't get very many towels on a roll when they're that fluffy. I yeah. mean, the box would have to be pretty big. Yeah, we found that the that cherries work well, but what really worked well was the pearls. So yeah. that's why we... anything that's a like more densely packed weave, kind of a tighter kind of deal, it, it just works better for packaging reasons. Yeah. And Ola TRC Ola OG says, uh, I think C Zerware. Then okay. I've got Air First here saying a shout out to Reflect Auto Care in Ireland here that stock all your stuff. Thank God. All right. Well, I'm glad you're able to find our stuff there. Buddy, yeah. Because uh, I know in That's Ireland awesome. you, you got uh, just a few options. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Cameron Messina. Don't have notifications set up, but stream did appear as my first suggestion when I opened YouTube. Okay. Well, Cameron, I think that's a plus. It might have something to do with proximity, considering you're local compared to a lot of these folks. That, that may have an effect. I don't know. Uh, Neil White. I'd rather clean wheels than glass. Ooh. That's uh, that's an interesting take. I wonder how many other people feel that way. Um, I like clean people... glass compared to wheels. Because there are people who don't like glass, and there are people who don't like <coughs> wheels. They like clean glass and clean wheels, but they don't like doing it. So given the choice between the two, what say you, commenters? What do you think? Uh, let's see. Dionysus. OG and TRC collaboration was really nice. Hello from Greece. Hey, thanks for popping in for What's Greece. What's going on? Hey, Dionysus. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for chiming in. Dionysus, nice. Thank you. And JP, JP saying, my roommates pranked me by putting mayonnaise in my toothpaste. Was thinking about getting back at them by putting KC Magic Wheel Cleaner in their face wash shampoo yeah, and that. body wash. No. That would be a crime, JP. That I think would it actually be, would be a crime. That would be bordering on an actual criminal <laughs> charge. Activity, yeah. Yeah. So maybe don't do that, especially... As the company, we are saying, don't do that. But, you know, we can't stop you from what you're going to prank your roommates with. So that's on you, buddy. Um, Franco. <laughs> <laughs> Brit Rock, I suck at that. I used to absolutely hate them, but now they're my fave. Wow, really, Franco? You like cleaning wheels, too. How strange. I mean, you know, to each their own, but it just doesn't strike me as fun. Uh, Rick Smith saying, I love the Ultra Brush, but how about designing one with bristles on both sides similar to the Easy Detail Brush? Good idea. <laughs> there we, we go. Take that into consideration. Bam. <sighs> then I've got Josh Lankow. Wood Reactive Shampoo work good as a hand wash to remove hard water spots huh. and lime scale buildup on a dirty well. car like this one. So, yes, it is a lime scale mineral spot remover, but it is not a true water spot remover. Also, if you are going to wash it <coughs> by hand, I recommend you wear gloves mm -hmm. because it is an a pH of one. So, please keep that in mind that you do want to wear gloves when you use it so that you keep your hands there uh, safe and you don't don't hurt yourself or burn yourself give yourself a chemical burn in any way shape or form and it says that on the bottle wear gloves so yeah you are gonna stick your hands in it be careful and and uh, we're gonna foam this up with some GSF all right and then get into claying here just Good. using the brush on this grill down here. Ooh, are ya? Yeah. Oh, a little bit of hot brush action. Gosh, yeah, that looks good. It's a good looking car. I can see Jimmy driving this thing. Levi. What if Jimmy and I bought it together? You shared it? You split it? And we just it? share it. I could see that working we pretty well. You meet up in parking lots and swap custody of it? Yeah, I like that. The swap weekend. custody. <laughs> Oh, All right, oh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing foamed, then we're going to grab our ultra clay scrubbers and get to claying. All right. And this thing is going to start feeling again. pretty freakishly smooth, I think, Levi. What do you think? It's starting to feel good. It's starting to work. Um, I'm really excited because I was, I thought, oh, no, man, we forgot to add bug scrubbers. But we didn't. 
because the clay scrubber has a bug right scrubber on the back. So yeah. we'll be able to scrub the bugs off too, which will be great. But it's starting to feel a lot better. A lot of it was that grime. There was some dirt when we were washing. You can see the dirt that was just soaking up. <coughs> All right, next up, I've got actually a whole page of questions here for you guys. Umberto, you're about the same height as Dane, so. Yeah, I'm 5'8". I don't know what you are, Umberto, but I thought you were pretty close. Uh, let's see. We've got General Pet. When will the new wheel brush be available at TRC EU? It's on its way. All right. And then I've got Joey Belinsky simply saying, what a <coughs> nice surprise. Good and, uh, oh, oh, here's one. Uh, okay, so Air First saying, I'd rather glass too. Well, the back window inside. So that is something that people don't enjoy yeah. very much. The glass in the back of a car, especially like a sedan or something, when it's behind the rear seats, you just you got to go all the way back there. It, it's not always the best. If it's yeah. like an SUV with a hatch or something, it can be a lot easier to get to. But traditional sedans and stuff, like a three-box design, it, it is kind of a pain. Yep. Or a coupe, especially a coupe with like small back seats, but it's just far enough you can't reach it, and you got to get back there. That really sucks. Yeah, no, agree there, Air First. Uh, um, Are you next clay up. in the vinyl? I'm just lightly going over it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can certainly hear it. Just, oh, that already feels so much better, Levi. You should try it. Right. <laughs> God, I love these ultra clay scrubbers. Satisfying. Especially with soap. Well, here's what I also like. Say there's a piece of bird dropping or like a bee poop or something. You just flip yeah. it over and you can scrub it off. Literally, you go like this. Bam. Bam. <clears throat> scrub, flip. Don't need to put any pressure. Just let the sponge do the work. Finger pressure, I should say. Right? It's not an accident. Those little scrubbers are so popular. Oh, yeah. Those dude, clay scrubbers go nuts. This feels killer. Then let's see, I've got Franco here saying, I just started using wheel covers, clean and dry wheels, and, oh, dry the wheels, not touch them again till after the wash, uncover them after everything is done, and apply some tire shine, call it a day. Okay. Oh, for polishing and yeah. all that, nice. Then Kevin here, Kevin saying, Love these live streams. I'm patiently waiting the ultra safe sponge as I do rinseless 99% of the time. Well, I get ready, giant buddy. Order Those things are for TRC once that bad boy's out. Well, make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter. Uh huh. We so are you know, very the, close. We are very, very close. We got confirmation. So we are very close. So uh, have that order ready, sir. And let's see. We've got Air First here again saying. IK and Buster has made my wheel cleaning a lot easier. Oh, nice. Nice. And he's absolutely loving Absolute, of course. Oh, here's a question uh, from 3D. I'm not going to read the rest of that. What PSI and GPM does your setup produce? Um, I don't know. I know Gabe would know. Well, we haven't written it out. That's true. So. Well, ours is, yeah, it's a mix of some things. It's not just because the Krenzla is in there. There's pipes to consider and the flow of the actual, yeah. Anyway, not totally sure. But if you want a good example of uh, what all's back there, you can check out our Wash Bay tour video. Yeah. You can look yep. at that. That one goes into depth. We got Josh here. Does TRC have any ideas for making an 8x8 towel for glass or other reasons? I love my autofiber 8x8 glass towels. Uh, uh, we haven't looked into that. <clears throat> Not really. We have things like eaglets, which are kind of like a we shrunken do have eight version eights, yeah, of an but eagle, but they're not really intended for glass. That's not a glass towel, so. Yeah, I mean, we're always looking at different options, but that's just not something our customers have necessarily asked us to do. So, hey. But thank you for asking. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You're Absolutely. The first to ask that. Put it out there. Uh, Umberto says he is five foot five. Okay, I okay. do. 
have a bit of height on you then, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't think you were that small, Umberto. Sorry. Yeah, I thought you were taller. My bad. Too. Joey Belinsky, I clayed an entire car with the bug scrubber side and didn't realize it until I was done with the whole thing. I still bet it felt great. <laughs> Probably cleaned it very well. Now Brian wants to know how tall you two are. Uh, I'm 5'10". Uh, <coughs> Anthony's 6 foot. Yeah, 6'1 if I had the right shoes on. Yeah, I'm 5'11 <laughs> if I have the right shoes on. <laughs> And then I've got Air First here saying, I've added some paint gloss to my Absolute. Does that make me wild? No, okay, but well, good job. You're enjoying it. It's a, it's a good little mix. Are we clayed, Levi? I already clayed. All right, you're, we're clayed on that side, I'm clayed yeah. on this side. We are clayed. Did you scrub the Joe, bugs on the front on your side? I did. Okay, good. Joe and Matt wanting to know, is that Coach Kimmy going on the car? Yes. It's Coach Kimmy. Although I just like when they say Coach Kimmy. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. There's some All Coach right. Kimmy. Got to get those likes in. Yes, sir. Smash it, etc. 92 viewers. Wow. There we go. No, people are chilling. They're having a good time. We're having around the 90. Oh, wow. Mark. Look at that water rinsing off. That looks great. That does look good. <laughs> oh, they're both Jack Reacher height. No, Jack Reacher's six foot six. <laughs> 6'5", 2'20", or 2'50". JP says they skipped my comment. JP, I did not skip your comment. I read it aloud. They answered it. What was I'm our comment? I'm not sure what comment you're talking about. Unless uh, I'm going back here. Yeah, he just wrote they skipped my comment twice. And oh. I'm like, what? No, I'm looking back. Your comment was there. I, I read it and everything. Let's see how far back I got to go. Yeah, my roommates pranked me. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, read, we read that it. one. Yeah, we yeah. said, don't do that. <laughs> we straight up said, don't do that. But you already knew that. <laughs> um, let's see. We've got... Wow, look at that rinse. More here. Franco <coughs> saying to Joey, I completely forgot the clay. I polished my last polish and coating. I crystal washed and iron removed it, but thank God the guy kept his truck clean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's always the worst when you forget to clay or you don't clay or they don't want to pay for clay and you start doing a bit of a polish and you can see all the contaminants in the paint because it's getting stuck to the product and it's leaving these little marks. Yeah, it's just not, yeah. It's so fast now to be able to do it this way. Yeah. General Pep, love TRC products. My favorite is the Gauntlet. Greetings from Amsterdam. Oh, hey. hello. Thank you for calling in, commenting in from Amsterdam. That's cool. Appreciate it. We do have a very international audience. That's why I love doing these shows, is we do get people from all around. We got Rick here saying, JB, I agree. Clean windows make all the difference. I think we're all fans of clean windows here. Look at that rinse. Look how yeah. good that car's looking under those hex lights. Man, those <laughs> hex lights just make everything better. Right? Yeah. No, Tell that's you what. definitely it. It's much more dynamic <laughs> video because of that. <clears throat> yeah. White car under hex lights really does a lot. Yeah. Really makes it pop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kevin, let's see. What's Kevin saying? Also wanted to add, I do marketing for a living, and TRC is a prime example of marketing done right. I've been stealing some of your tactics in my day job marketing software tech. Hey! Thank thanks, you, buddy. Kevin. We really appreciate that. I really that. appreciate that note. That is awesome. That is very hear nice that, to Anthony? hear. That's a, that was a great comment. Thank you, Kevin. Seriously, thank you. It's nice to know you're doing something right. That's right. <laughs> uh, Air First says, my Dry Me River is an antique, and it's still a champ. Well, nice. that a boy. <laughs> but that's what AA-grade microfiber will get you. When you spend the money on a quality product, it'll still work. That's right. Yeah, Joey Belinsky's 519. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. Must be nice. How's the weather up there, Joey? <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, he's, you know, just kind of hanging out with the clouds. Uh, let's see. Umberto here. Yes, Levi is 5'10", since my second son is 5'10", and my half and my oldest is 6'. Okay. 
All right, so this car, it's it, there's literally no protection on it, so it's one of those like never-ending rinse cars where you just feel like you gotta keep <laughs> rinsing and rinsing and rinsing because you can't tell if the soap's gone or not. Um, God, this thing has nothing on it. Not nothing. Zero protection. It feels really good though. I mean, the paint feels great. It just needs <coughs> some moisturization. So for this, um, I want to ask our our team here: Is it cool if we go ahead and pull this under the hex light stain? You want to park it right here? Yeah, so we can get out of the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's shuffle it. Oh, let's Ready? do it. All right, okay. let's move over to Dane. I'm, 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 hop, I'm, I'm hopping in. I'm game because I don't have Push to do this. anything. I just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's Listen to that then? Subi Rumble startup. Oh, we probably should have done the jams. Oh. It's all good. Well, I'm not missed, sure Matt would agree. Missed opportunity. It's okay. We can wipe them out. I'll get a wet <laughs> towel. It's okay, we can still hear you, Anthony, if you want to talk about your experience dude. driving this in the garage. This car is cool, dude. This is a cool car. It's definitely one of those cars where if I had room, if I had room for something else, I would do it. You'd enjoy it. I would. Dude, they're just so slow. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stock, yeah, they are not exactly hot rods, but that's not why you buy a car like that. No, I know, but it's, I think it's just good looking. I think this is a good looking car. Oh yeah, they're great. And but, as they always pointed out in the marketing, since the back seats fold down, you can <coughs> fit four track day tires in the back. Yep. It's just funny because I, I, I really like the new ones. Um, you know the new, the newer, I guess the new generation, whatever you want to call it. Well, yeah, they improved the the torque dip and all that stuff. They mostly got rid of that, so it's actually feels more usable now. I really, well, I really like the new ones. It's just the, I don't like the new the new Subarus. I like the new Toyotas, but mm -hmm. of this generation, this, I like Jimmy. the Subaru. Yeah, Does I think that make the, sense? the front bumper design <laughs> on the Subaru looked better in this generation. Cool yeah, car. Drag drying doesn't work as good when a car is fully saturated and I have a <laughs> fresh, dry me river. No, it doesn't at all. This thing is, look this at, thing has like, nothing, nothing on it. This has, this has literally no protection. Womp I'm just womp. smearing water around. I'm absorbing Hazer it. Jesus says, shout out to the guys at the rag company. So right back at you, Jesus. Shout out. Thank you, Jesus. Then uh, I've got Josh Lankow asking, any ideas on when S003 spray and rinse sealant is coming out in sale in the USA? Ah, uh, SS03 spray and rinse. Mm hmm. Well, someone might have to tune into TRCMA <laughs> when all those new products get to drop. That's a great point there, it Levi. Might be Good. a part of that. You never Good know. Luck. That's a great. That's a great point there, Levi. I love what you're preaching. Love what you're saying. Absolutely. Get people over to the Rag Company Media Access. TRCMA is a fun show. You're going to see lots of the brands you know and love and some you may not be familiar with. It's a good opportunity to get to know some of the people behind them and actually ask some questions. Not exactly to their face, but you Ooh, do get to ask some questions wow. in real time. So Much higher appealing. absorption. Yes. Almost five times the absorption. It's true. Between Imagine this towel, that. the Dry Me River, and the gauntlet. Oh no, this wrap is water spotted. Do you see that? Yep. Oh no. But well, that wasn't the whole your car's doing. Water that spotted, was like Anthony. that before. So this wrap needs to come off. He had this wrap put on in 2016. Yeah. So it's we're going on it. eight years. Yeah, he's past it. It's but so it's that, you know, but it's always been garage though. So there's that true, chance better. where it's probably okay. But I do think that. I am, I, am, I am worried that it's going to be one of those peel a corner and then a piece comes off. Yep. And you oh, go, where it flakes off. And you go, oh no. Well, is that top supposed to be satin or is it uh, actually no. meant to be gloss? It's, it's gloss. It's gloss white. Because it's not. Oh, no, no, no. I, oh, the top? Yeah. The roof, of this, the, roof, the, no, the roof of this car is white. No, I mean, like, there's a wrap on it, though. That, there's that a wrap, wrap on it, correct. Yes, yes, that wrap is supposed to be gloss black or is it satin black? It's satin black. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, on camera, it looks so flat or satin 
Yeah, it's not glossy. It okay, yeah. that's what I was trying to figure out. I know, I know it's white underneath, but I was asking because I was trying to figure out if I was just seeing texture weird on camera or if that was actually intentional. Nope. But yeah, no, it's it's ready. It's hit its lifespan. It is worth pulling off. But hey, let's say you're doing this at a, you've got a wrap shop. Maybe you're doing PPF. Mm -hmm. Where you tell the customer you like the way that looks. Yeah. What if we did black PPF? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make that roof look like a piece of glass. There Agreed. That's what people like. Uh, <coughs> let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Joey Belinsky popping in with a promo code. Use Epic Waterless Wash to take care of those jams. Promo Joey10. There you go. If you want 10% off right now, you can use Atta that boy. code. <laughs> kind of want to take off this 86 sticker here. It was cool back in the day, but I think it's been overdone. I think yeah, it's fine. I, I, you think no, it looks I think cool? Sure it fits anymore. <laughs> it's the, that's what the car is. What do you mean it doesn't fit anymore? That's the logo. Yeah, I know. I, I just get that. If you had a Toyota version, the car is called a Toyota 86. <laughs> Why well, don't stickers are still the in thing anymore? It'd still be that same logo. Yeah. But the Subaru version doesn't use that. That's more of a, I wish I had this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Subaru one was the nice one. You have to remember the, yes, Subaru, the Subaru was the premium version was of the, the Toyota <laughs> Twins. Yeah. It was the premium of all the FRS, Toyota, everything. It was the, it was the nicer version. <clears throat> God, this thing already looks so much better. It's, it does. Yeah, those, the windows are really water bad. Spotted. Yeah. Windows are pretty bad. <laughs> But this thing does look incredibly uh, much, much better. But I'm amazed how well the paint is, what type of shape it's in. That's now what I'm saying. Nice. Like, it's never, been, it's never been abused. I mean, it yeah. just hasn't been washed. Now, guys, here's a very nice comment for you. Rick Smith, I didn't know anything about TRC until I stumbled across TRCMA, and I've been hooked. Good. Nice. Thank you, Rick. So Thank that you. did its job. Awesome. <laughs> Glad we have you with us. And then, uh, let's see. Wow, Air First really going <coughs> heavy on the absolute, saying he really thinks everyone needs to know about it. It's brilliant. I mean, I agree. It's good stuff. So you want to tell us a little bit about your uh, drying process right now, just because how not it's It's not sexy. This, it's car feels. Sticky. this the isn't sexy. Is very sticky. The paint is kind of sticky. It's very flat. There's Look at Oh yeah, that's like rubbing your fingers on a balloon. There's just there's just nothing there's nothing on it, dude. It's it's yeah. it's now stripped, right? Because we used super foam, so if it didn't have anything on, it's gone now. Um, and at this point, ideally, a polish would probably be the best thing for it. Um, but we're gonna use S O O one, mm -hmm. and that is going to give us some protection, some gloss. Um, and hopefully just get a little bit of moisture in this paint. Yeah, because do you know exactly the last time this was washed? Four, four years. So it has been. I, I think it was pre-pandemic. Literally, pre-pandemic. Well, I, wasn't, I wasn't kidding when I said that. Like, Man. this is, hasn't been touched. Mm -hmm. Serious business, Yeah, he's I still see. got his pandemic kit in the door. <laughs> some wet wipes and some yeah. uh, hand sanitizer. Nice. But what's cool about these is I don't know if you can, Jimmy can see, but these uh, the seats in here. What made this this car different is that it has blue. Uh, oh, sorry. Has blue seats. Yeah. Alcantara and it's got leather. The blue stitching and the blue stitching on everything. It's a super cool interior. Mm-hmm. You don't really see a lot of these. Not in this condition, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, most of the ones I see these days are like driven by a high schooler and the bumper's about to fall off. And yeah. <laughs> see, that's, that's what true. I think I could get into. Something like that. <laughs> well, Levi needs one that's been... <laughs> I need he one needs that's one that's... Levi needs Somehow one that's like had a, a, bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a rough life. Oh, no. Well, it's so then I can baby it and it'll, it's right. like a pound puppy. Right, right? Yeah. I don't need to take a, go get it from a breeder, right? I need a dog that's been loved and has had a hard life on the streets. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, same with like cats. True. You know, I'd rather yeah. find a cat on the side of the road than go have a cat burst. That makes Correct. sense. Correct. Correct. I'm going to grab a glove for Levi here. Oh, thank you. And myself. This is a solvent based product. So we do want to make sure <clears throat> to wear gloves. Grab a couple gloves out of this. Let's see. <coughs> Bin over here. There we go. So what I like is there's a couple little marks on the doors, a couple little spots, and I think they're gonna, it's gonna work out great to remove that product. Can you do the, 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 the can, 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 can you do the, uh, what's the glam cam that they had at the, uh, oh, the motion it? control rig camera. The yeah. one, the one that had the, what's, what would just happen? The Oscars. Yeah. Mm, it's like it turns cam. and like, it like captures yeah, you and it goes slow-mo for it's a quick second. It's a motion second. control rig and it shoots really high frame rate so that it yeah. can do slow motion after the fact. So Levi, show us how to <clears> install <throat> the hot swax. How do you say it? Uh, yeah, Hosfax. Hos Hosfax. Hos 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 got your ultra. Hos you got your ultra no soak applicator there. So, so first more things. Okay. You got to shake this up. Kay. Product separates because it is a a um, solvent, solvent base. Yes. Correct. So you do want to give it a good shake for a little Kay. while. Kay. And then uh, once you get it, there's two ways you can do this. You can put it in the spray bottle, mist it onto your pad. Yeah. You can pour it onto your pad mm -hmm. or mist it onto a soft polishing pad and put it on a polisher mm -hmm. and apply it that way. So yeah. you're applying it, run your speed low, throw it on your Rupes and uh, get to town. So what we're going to do is just get this guy nicely saturated. Okay. Typically they it. say you could also put a sprayer in there too, right? Yeah. Well and you could saying. spray you it onto your pad you psh, 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 yeah. if you want. Okay. So we'll start with the hood just as maybe Jimmy can see it a little better for this 50-50. Think of this as like the easiest ceramic coating you can apply. <laughs> and you can't screw it up. Because at the end of the day, this is essentially a wax. Ooh, it's hazing up beautifully, Levi. Look at that. Do you cross hatch at all when you install this or uh, no? I don't. Okay. You can if you want, but there's no reason. Okay. That's a move you do when you're learning. Okay. But the cool thing is you can also use it on plastics. So it's safe for, for certain plastics too. Yeah. So like even right here on these plastics on the side, mm -hmm. I'm not going to dry them out. You can definitely smell that solvent. Yeah. You can definitely smell the solvent. While you're doing that, I do have Air First here with a question. Please ask the lads. If they could only have one towel or cloth, what would they have? Drum 365, roll. my friend. Or, actually, you know what I like better? Hmm. The new Rip and Rag XL. Oh, yeah. That's, it's true. The Rip and Rag XL is, my favorite. Um, as the kids would say, it's OP'd. It's bussin'. I was no, going to say, I'm surprised they didn't say it's uh, goaded. It's, it's or, well, on know, God or something, the whatever sauce. they're for saying. Real, for real, with the sauce. But <laughs> <laughs> so how we say it, Jimmy? On God, on God. All right. <clears throat> so next up. Well, actually, so, Does yeah. This kind, so of a, like this kind of a mint smell to it. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit of a mint. Bit. Carson Black popping in to say, hey, guys. And, ooh, this is an interesting take. I've got Chinta Cruz here saying we need more of Nate's S10 on the company media. Well, that's a good idea. Nate would like that. That might be Nate's alt account. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rick Smith here. It's taking less time for Anthony and Levi to wash a neglected car than Matt and Anthony to wash a clean car. <laughs> Not only just wash, but like wash and protect. Yeah, decon and protect. For real. Well, when you take a lot of the talking out of it. <laughs> well, not even the talking. It's the. We're still talking. Like, but <laughs> so some people go like, yeah, but I'm doing it right. Or I'm taking the, the doing the right process. That's fine. Yeah. Like you can do that. But 
you got to remember, I try to get things done quickly and effectively so I can move on to the next thing. Well, yeah, when the car gets returned to the customer, is the customer going to say anything about one car versus the other? Yeah. Like the final result looks more or less the same, even though the two detailers spent drastically different amounts of time on the car. Yeah. If the end result is more or less the same in the eyes of the consumer, then it really just comes down to what you're willing to tolerate in terms of what you're making per hour on the job or something by being more efficient. Yep. Yeah. And it's like we used to say, it's about the service. Yeah. Like you, you can know. still offer like you know, <coughs> premium service, do a good job, but there's no rule that says you have to be slow while you do it. Yeah. And I say that as somebody who is not quick, so uh, definitely don't use me as a, an example. But, I mean, I go at my own pace, but I'm not doing the job for anybody else other than myself anyway. So, Do we you want to apply it to the vinyl or no vinyl on top? I probably wouldn't do it to the vinyl. I'd probably spray something else on just because of the solvents in it. Okay. Um, rear bumper's done? All yeah. of it? Yeah. Well, to your side. Okay. <coughs> the reason we're not putting it on the on the vinyl is because of the fact that it's so dry um, I worry that the solvents will dry it out so in this instance something like triple S or uh, maybe Defender or even bead maker would probably be better yeah. on the vinyl um, just to help it out so yeah. um, all right are you ready to do yeah. some wiping we can wipe it off how's that feel Levi easy it's slippery now <laughs> oh yeah that looks pretty easy, what you guys are doing right now. Oh, dude, this is incredibly easy. It's slick, too. Air says, favorite tire dressing, then I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it's Gumi. all right, Air. I like Gumi and Oppie Bond. All right, excellent. Anthony, how about you? <sighs> tire dressing. I really like T2. I like um, Gumi and uh, PSS. I was going to say, I was surprised I didn't hear PSS there, because yeah. that's PSS, my vote. P PSS is PSS. really good. And then Kevin Miser here is saying, I've been using gauntlets to dry my car for about a year. Which drying towels do each of you like the most? Uh, liquidators. I'm a 1500 and liquidator guy. I still love my gauntlets, don't yeah, get me, me wrong. Um, but I think... For how often I'm going through drying towels at my house um, and how often I catch edges and whatnot, I think the liquidator and 1500 make the most sense for me. Well, I tend to find that I reach for the liquidator more and more. Even though I have all three, Yeah. Um, I'll grab that one nine makes times sense. out of ten. Yeah. Then Dude, I'm this car feels good, Levi. <laughs> I know, right? Not too bad. <laughs> Rick Smith here also asking, is that SIO good for the trim and the glass? I don't, I don't think you're supposed to put it on glass or necessarily trim. I think if you hit the trim, you're okay, but yep. I don't think you're supposed to apply it to trim because of all okay. the solvents. Yeah, it'll work on some trim. It's okay for some plastics. Okay. It says it on the bottle. So like plastic tail lights and sure. certain parts. But so like polycarbonate, that kind of yeah. stuff too. That stuff's okay. These plastics, because they're not so bad, probably be all right, but I just mm -hmm. don't want to jinx it. Sure. What's Tend crazy, though, is that this stuff right here, when it dries up and the solvents rise to the surface and you're wiping off the remaining there, it doesn't, the towel is not getting gunked up. <coughs> yeah. Like, you can just keep, I can just keep using the same towel over and over and over again, and it's still going to do an amazing job. I'm going to swap towels just because, but... I genuinely think I could probably do this whole car. I'm, I'm halfway through with, mine still. With two towels. <laughs> so, Chenta Cruz with a very fair question. Do you think there's a better chance of winning the lottery or changing Matt Mormon's mind? <laughs> uh, neither, really. I'd probably win in the lottery. Matt makes up his own mind. He's his own person. And he's going to do things the way he does. Things we can do has help influence him on some of those decisions. I have seen Matt in conversations with Anthony predating his Honda Civic project come around to the idea of a Honda Civic project through Anthony's like negotiating power. Yeah, it is true. I did talk him into buying that car. But when we were stranded in a, you know, 
snowstorm at the Serum Summit. That was, he, uh, I, had, I had a captive audience. He did it. Yeah, he couldn't well, go anywhere, so he literally just sat down and he talked storm. his ear off, and he was into it. So yeah. So that, that's a fun one, I think, of, you know, look back and go, yeah, I think you really did actually move him on an idea that way. So I'm going to put it on this black plastic down here at the bottom just to show everybody on okay. these uh, skirts uh, just what it can do. So we'll get that on there. That's looking good. Rick Smith wanted to know what the tire dressing recommended for the Ultra Air sprayer was because we did. Uh, OptiBond. Some. Yeah. I think OptiBond is technically our only dressing that we uh, approve of here in that sprayer. So let that dry. As you can see, it flashes very quickly. And then Air with a very nice comment here because he knows he's been asking lots of them. Thank you, not just for this, but for all you do. You Aaron, of guys course. are very likable, listening. reachable, and human. So that's very nice. Thank you, Air. Appreciate that. Much appreciated. So there you go. Sills are now hit. I'm like on Ooh. this mirror. <laughs> Look at that black plastic. This thing feels pretty good, man. I think it, just looks, this, uh, it looks significantly better. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it looks really good. It feels really good. The glass needs a lot of love. Yeah. Clarity cream and some pads, some buffing pads. Yep. Now I had uh, Jackball TV here saying, bought a new Sentra recently, white with a black top, and the dealer washed it with scorching hot water and industrial chemicals, and water spots are baked into the black part permanently. Oh, no. Followed by, never let a dealer wash your car. I got some... Water spot remover, I got to remove some out. Black wax, but never got all of them out. So, so maybe he's wondering what he can do to... Yeah, so the use some water spot remover. Uh, G-Technic water spot remover is a great one. And uh, if you can't get it all out, then you're going to have to uh, try to polish them out as best you can. You've got to remove all those minerals from the uh, top. And here's what happened. I used to see this all the time at the dealerships was um, they have a car wash there. They line the cars up and the lot boys drop them off and they walk off. And one of the kids is in line. One person's actually driving the cars in while the person's washing. And then there's a kid that's prepping. And that kid, just because he thinks he's helping, he goes and rinses five cars in line. But by the time that fifth car that's sitting there wet in the sunlight, gets through the wash itself, all those water spots have baked on. So they don't mean to do it, they just don't think about that. And to them, they're trying to hustle because they need sure. to get these cars through. And so they're just trying to do their best. And so that's why people go, oh, never let your dealership wash the car. Uh, it's because these kids are just doing their best and everybody does love a car wash and there are tons of folks who have no problem having the dealer wash their car but there are a select few of us that don't like it. So that's the reason. It's never really their fault, but it also is their fault because they don't understand the car the is a victim of circumstance. Exactly, that's all. <clears throat> Aaron Barr here is saying, OptiBond versus Optimum Tire and Protection Coating. Uh, OptiBond. All right. Plain and simple. It's easy, it works, it's great. And then I've got Chinta Cruz for us Boise locals. Any plans to have a local get together this summer? Maybe a locals only sticker. Ooh, that's a good Ooh, idea. I like that. One. So, uh, Chinta Cruz, if you haven't come stop by the storefront, the MVP Detail sure. Supply, please um, do and talk to them. That they've got an Idaho MVP Detail Supply sticker. Mm -hmm. Maybe we create a Rag Company sticker that can only be got there at the store when you buy something. If we were to do some kind of event here, it would almost definitely involve MVP and possibly the toy box over there as well. Yeah, good idea. Well, we have to see what they're up to. Uh, Carson Black, <laughs> all this dealership talk is making me feel awkward. Carson, we love you. <laughs> we love you, oh, Carson. You're good. Just because but you weren't going to deal with like it doesn't just, make you a bad guy. They're just trying to work. Yeah, you're just trying to get stuff done. You're trying to get your job done. Um, and you're trying to be fast and helpful, but there's sometimes where that kid that's, that's going down the line and spraying too many cars needs to not do that on certain days. 
And we know you're one of the good ones because, yeah. you know, from interaction, you obviously care. Like, you take real care and effort in what you do and how you think about it. So, yep. a lot of it is I just mean, training and knowledge. Yeah. That's all. You know the deal. And we wish we could go to all the dealerships and tell them, but <laughs> yeah. time is money sometimes. Uh, Chitta Cruz, I've gone by and it's a phenomenal store. Great people over Thank there. Thank you, yes. man. Oh, very nice. Thank you. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up where we've been, except for I do have a very important question. From, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, a couple here. Brian Vlogs, have you guys tried Lab House Cosmetica yes, yet? Yes, Brian, we have. We've, we've been over this one. It's but good yes. products. They're yeah. good products. It's just funny that they're like talked about so much now when we've been aware of them for several years. And yep. John Hole over in the UK carries them. Yeah, likes them a lot. Yeah, we've uh, we've tested them. They we tried to make it work here in the U.S. It's just it didn't fit our um, mm -hmm. line of questioning, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, Joey Belinsky, if you guys could have only one type of cereal for the rest of your life, what would that cereal oh, be? Oh, Apple Jacks. Ooh. Apple Jacks? That's my jam. Good call. Hmm. Yeah. One type, one type for the rest of your life. Yeah, just one. One type? Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, probably. I just... I, I just... It, I've never gotten sick of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay, there you go. Uh, okay, don't judge me here, but I'm going to throw on a non Coach Kemi products T T2 tire dressing. I wanted to pull out tire glaze, but I think we had to take it back over to the main warehouse. So I'm going to throw on some T2. Just give it a quick, uh, quick little circle, quick little job here, and this thing will be done. And then Jimmy can come in through and get some final shots. Nice. <laughs> so Anthony, check out that sill plate. I did that lower door sill. Oh, that's looks good. With the wax, with the hearts wax, hearts wax. I think that looks good. What do you, th oh yeah. I like how that's looking. Yeah, on camera, that's coming through looking real nice. Look how glossy that is. So that's the crazy thing about this product um, is it is a finishing wax, which means it's a gloss enhancing wax. Ooh, here's a uh, super auto asking a spicy question. Level nine on the gloss scale. That is looking very good. Thoughts on a chemical manufacturer recently stating that it's absolutely impossible to rinse this wash the vehicle and not induce marring. Oh, I'd love to know who that chemical manufacturer is that's saying that. And what Probably rinseless wash they're referring to because yeah. uh, we've had different experiences with different rinseless washes. Rinseless washes are different. They're not all created equally, although they yeah, are who, designed yeah, to all do the same job. Who's saying it? I, I'm curious. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> It seems motivated somehow. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Does it? Do they have a rinseless wash? Probably. Yeah, that's not. a question. Yeah. Hmm. All or right. They do, and it's not that good. Yeah, yeah. Working on it, maybe. Uh, next up, we've got Chris M. Whatever happened to the dealership detailed departments? When you buy a new car now, the salesperson just runs it through a wash and then gives it to you wet. Uh, it depends on the dealership that you buy from. There are yeah, certain dealerships that do have. Case detailed departments, but then there are other dealerships that uh, they don't have a detailed department. They still sublease or sublet uh, details out to third party uh, detailers. Detail, third, third party detailers. So um, <coughs> when I had my detail shop, I did it for a number of dealerships that would <coughs> put it in through their service department. And the problem is, is maybe you buy a car and you say, gosh, I would love that BRZ. I want to get it detailed. Well, they don't have a detail department per se. But what they can do is wash it, clean it, and uh, give it to you. And then what they'll do is usually schedule you to bring it back and drop it off there at the dealership to get it detailed. And then a person like myself shows up when they call and say, hey, we got that, we've got this car coming in on the 10th of March. We need you to detail it. And I say, yeah, I'll, I'll come pick it up. And I bring it back to my shop. It gets detailed. We drop it off that afternoon by 3 o'clock so they can notify the customer to come pick it up at 5 or 6. Sure. Um, and then I bill the dealership and the dealership bills the customer. So it, it, there are times where that works and, and uh, a lot of dealerships do that, mostly because of the fact that it's much more cost effective for them because they're making an extra, let's say, 100 to $200 on the detail um, in most cases because they're creating a service for a customer. Um, and then I'm charging them a percentage of that or a portion of that or 50% of that to detail the vehicle for them because I already have an account with them and I'm already doing 60 cars a month for them. So uh, that is where it kind of moved 
Um, especially after 2008, uh, there was a lot of dealerships that had a lot of just people hanging out that did a lot of different jobs. And, in, and when the downturn hit, it forced a lot of dealerships to kind of rethink how they're spending money, how they're working on their stuff. And now they usually have a recon department that'll recon cars, but they don't have a true dedicated detail department. Sure. And so. I pulled this up just because Ri I think Rich here was trying to get a sense of T2. So if you As might a T2 get a tire close up of the bottle product. Yeah, for, T2 uh, tire dressing from uh, G Technic here. So yeah. uh, this is one of my favorites here. Um, it's got a blue tracer in it, which I think makes it really easy to find out where you've gone, um, where you need to go. Uh, but it's, it's just a very durable uh, tire dressing. So usually it'll last for uh, several months. So um, no, I think, dude, this thing looks awesome for... I mean, we had to put in a little bit of work, a little bit of yeah. elbow grease, right? But I think for the most part, this looks, uh, I mean... It looks really good. It looked awesome on that camera shot that Jimmy mm. did. I mean, it was just yeah. blowing that three-quarter view. Oh, it was so looking amazing. It's, it's kind of funny. So, I mean, I, I guess, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I still stand behind what I so told him. So why does him. he want to get rid of it? All those years, uh, he wants to get sent to something a little bit more uh, newer, more comfortable. He wants something that has uh, four doors. Oh. Um, but... What's funny is, I, you know, when I told him many years ago, hey, it's better for this car to stay dirty yeah, than, was, to, hey, than <laughs> to take it through a car wash. And you know what? Looking at how right. scratch-free and no. mar-free this yeah. car is, as water spots on it, right? But granted, I mean, it could water spots from anything, yeah. right? It's one, it's one bad parking job at a, at a restaurant, but, um, or one unlucky parking spot at a restaurant. But this thing still looks, looks pretty good. Yeah. It's nine years old. Yeah, no, this thing looks great for being, this is its first wash in four years, being nine years old yeah. and not having any problems. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, again, like I said, if he would like to uh, take a, a Hyundai Elantra, 2006 <laughs> Hyundai Elantra with, well, I think it's actually 145,000 miles. So it's it? actually lost some yeah. mileage since I last spoke. <laughs> uh, yeah. so How's that work? Much better. Well, I, my Suburban's got about 160 on it where the, the Elantra's got the 145. Ooh, low okay. mileage. Low mileage Elantra. Yeah, I right. that off the lot too. So I've got a handful of questions here. I'm going to round out the end of this and then we can wrap up. But let me get to these first. I'll go ahead and pull up Joey here. Oh, by the way, nice compliment from Rich there saying, excellent job, you too. It looks great. Thank Joey you. saying, I get told about scratches and how I'm an idiot in the comment section every time I post a rinseless video. Well, yeah. That's, that's welcome to the internet, Joey. That's the internet. That's YouTube. Okay, well, <laughs> we see plenty of comments that make us scratch our heads like, where's this person coming from? Because it's clearly another planet. Um, Super Auto, also a well-respected detailer, recently stating the clay towel decon is absolutely impossible to do without marring. Oh, uh, it's because they're not don't properly, they're not, they're not trained. They're doing it the old school way with clay, where they felt they had to push it. They said clay uh, towel. They said clay but, towel. Uh, but I know, but they're using a clay towel like okay. clay bar, mm, yeah. like a Super proper Auto. old school clay bar. And when you move to a clay towel the right way or a higher quality clay towel like ours, and you don't use any, uh, when you don't use actually any pressure, you will not induce marring. A decade ago, I was training in my minivan, yeah. my uh, Chrysler Town and Country, had it coated mm -hmm. with, a, with a ceramic coating. Yeah. And uh, I asked one of my guys, to, hey, I need you to grab this clay towel. Mm -hmm. We're gonna lightly clay the surface of this van because I'm gonna trade it in. Yeah. But I wanna get the, just give a quick decon. Mm -hmm. So the coating looks good. Yeah. And he grabbed the clay, folded it up, soaked it in a bucket of rinseless, but then proceeded to use it because it was his first time using it like a clay bar. And he started pushing really hard mm. on the fender. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You don't need to do that. Go lightly over the vehicle. And I showed him how to do it. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, all right. Goes around the rest of it. Now, he marred that fender because of the pressure he put on it. Yeah. But once he did the rest of the car, pulled it in the lights, looked at it, no scratches, black van, mm -hmm. looking great. I just had to polish out that fender and recode it. Yeah. But that was it. But it's all in technique and how you do it. Wow. Nice. That is, I was going to say, only incredible. Sith deal in absolutes. Like, you, you can't be That's too right, confident dang. on the black white of it. Like, there's usually yeah. some nuance there. Uh, next up, I've got Austin Yu. So, I can use the S001 in replacement of a wax. Yeah, it's yeah. a wax. It is a wax. I mean, it is, it is. technically a wax, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Rich Smith's comment again saying nice things. 
And then I've got Air saying, you'd need a magic wand to clean my girlfriend's car. Uh, air, Ayer. 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 <laughs> I've been saying Air, but it might be Ayer. Ayer sounds more correct. Ireland, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Super Auto sounds like subject matter for Jamie and Eddie. I agree. Uh, let's see. Levi and Anthony. This is from Carson. Levi and Anthony, in the market for a new pressure washer, I feel like my newer Craftsman isn't the best. Well, let me tell you something, Carson. <laughs> uh, I just joined the uh, Karcher Cube Q hey. uh, club. Thank you. Thank Q you club. for joining. Yeah. We're, we're looking to accept more members, Carson. So, you, I mean, you're more than welcome. I mean, it'll cost you about $129 to get into the door. Um, and then you're part of the club. I mean, it's yeah. a one-time membership, one-time fee. Uh, and before you know it, you know... Yeah. You're going to be part of the or club. you want to bump up. Maybe you want a couple more options. You want a little higher <clears> pressure. <throat> you go like what I did, and you get the uh, go on to the uh, 1800 oh, for yeah. $160. Yeah. Oh, good deal. Good deal mm. as well. So, yeah. yeah nice. what, uh, whatever floats your boat. Different strokes for different folks. Of course. And then Ire here just being extremely kind again. I wish you all the luck in the world as people, not just a company. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Kind. And I think it. that's Thank a nice place to wrap up. That's our last great, comment here. There are others, but it's mostly back and forth. So yeah. I want to say thank you, but you guys, give us an outro. Tell us, once again, remind us what you did to the car for the people who might be joining in late, and then uh, wrap us up, and I'll get us out of here. Yeah, of course. So uh, we started in with a little bit of RRR, reactive rust remover, to uh, start removing a lot of that iron contamination. Uh, and then from there, we did a little bit of a, just some pressure washing just to rinse everything off. Uh, followed up with super foam, let super foam dwell for a little while, rinsed it off, went back through, cleaned the wheels with alkaline wheel cleaner, uh, and cleaned both wheels and tires. And then Levi was able to go through with some GSF in the bucket wash, wash the car. We refoamed it with GSF using that as a clay lube, uh, and then used our ultra clay scrubbers to clay the vehicle, get it nice and smooth. We dried it off, brought it over here, and then applied yeah. our SO01 uh, harsh wax uh, BMP, uh, uh, yeah, BMP um, from Coach Kemi, and awesome yeah. experience. That's it. Done. It's glossified. It looks amazing. Oh, yeah. It's smooth. It's slick. Um, it's ready to go. And I, I have no complaints. So I'm really happy with yeah. how this thing it turned out. This great. thing looks really, really good. No, that's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. And of course, this was <coughs> a wonderful little test, as always, in our lead up to TRCMA, which is right around the corner. I mean, really, right around the corner. It's coming up very, very soon. Beginning of April. Don't miss it. If you're looking for details, they're all on our website, actually. You can go to theragcompany.com and then look for the tab up near the top there on the menu that says TRCMA. That's what you're looking for. But you get all the info there. You can see who's going to be attending, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's just like a trade show, but in your pocket. You can comment. You can do all that. And it's a good time. It's fun. We all do this kind of live streaming stuff to build up for it because that is the big event and it goes on all week anyway just making sure you're aware of it because it's kind of a big deal for us all right so from here at the rag company to you wherever you are i wish you a very very nice and happy weekend if that's what you're going to be doing later or q a thursday we got that coming up tomorrow so you can hop over to the rag company podcast youtube channel if you haven't watched that lately subscribe and uh, wait for that to pop up tomorrow where we answer your detailing questions. And that's it. So you guys have a good one. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>